know on your Samsung Galaxy keyboard okay let's just say I'm going to turn on WhatsApp and then we're going to go into myself did you know that if you actually press this button right there and there is this AI select and now when you actually press the plus button you can ask Samsung to generate anything you want let's just say I want to say a balloon and then I want to say 3d emoji and then press generate did you know samsung able to create a new sticker for you just by pressing that and then you press done this will be your sticker pretty cool so today i'm going to teach you another 20 tricks on your samsung galaxy phone please subscribe to this new channel and we will get started so number two did you know you can actually add this little button right down here and you press this this will become my magnifying glass but you can actually do something else with doing this so how do i set this up i'm going to show it to you you go to the setting there and then you can say accessibility okay and then we go all the way down accessibility button you can see that press this button right there and then we're going to go straight to this right here this here you can actually select whatever the anything you want extra dim you want to do universal switch things like that link to well, windows you can connect to this with anything so let's just say i want to do color filters okay turn this off and now you can press this okay take this off now it will be like a color filter so it will actually make your eyes more comfortable did you know you can add any button on here to make your life much easier if i want to just take a camera i just need to press this the camera will be on how do i do this it's actually quite easy you just need to go to good lock and then we're going to go straight into nav start and then we're going to go to nav start and then we're going to go to new and then we're going to go to add button add button okay and then now you can choose whatever you want let's just say you want camera just tap that it'll be up there you drag wherever you want okay now you can press done and then press save and now we are just we need to reselect whatever you just did and then you can just do this right away pretty cool pretty cool did you know that you can actually control this volume by how many segments you want by each press you just need to go into the good lock and then go to the sound assistance right there and then now you can just set it up how many increments you want to go by one press sometimes people want to go all the way to 10 so it will jump 10 times each time i press but if i want to do a little bit lower i will press one time each time so it will go slower and slower it depends what you really want but for me i would like to go a little bit higher so when i press it will jump much faster so number five i would like to show you let's just say i want to search uh, anything on google and then this is actually samsung galaxy internet okay samsung internet and then we're just going to go in here there's a with this website i do not want to read about this website because it's way too long did you know that if you press this ai button right there and now you can ask them to summarize everything for you and you can see they can summarize everything for you now you can copy or translate or if you're doing youtube you can actually copy and paste onto your description so you don't have to write anything and the next trick is if you actually press this you can actually translate into another language live okay so at the top there you can say translate to what so i say translate into japanese so now you can see everything is in japanese so this is actually pretty cool live you don't have to do anything else just press that and then they will translate like everything number seven let's just say i want to see what this player is usually 
people will just press this and then now it will jump to the next page and then we can see his stats did you know that you don't have to do that right now you just press this drag it on the side and then put at the bottom now you can actually open another website okay without losing this content at the top so anytime when you see like a blue line like this you just drag it and then replace this or that if you want or a mini screen it will turn out to be three samsung internet right here at the same time let's say on the samsung internet you are watching something like this okay now let's play okay on here on the setting right down there you need to press this button right here go to the setting and then go to more useful features right there and now when you press useful features make sure you play this okay put this on okay background play make sure you turn this on and now if you are playing anything okay we mean anything skip this okay let's just say i'm going to turn this up So you can hear it's still playing and if I love my screen it's still playing too and you can see it's still playing you can see it right down there so the next trick is it's actually quite important let's just say I'm gonna turn on YouTube okay and then you're gonna watch my videos or whatsoever now you want to do a multi-screen you want to put another app right down here did you know that have you ever even used this bar right down here pull it out have you ever tried to edit this okay so i'm going to teach you how to edit this first how do you put things in here so now we're going to go to the pencil and then you can put any app into here so let's just say i'm going to put any app okay as much as i want put it there but i highly suggest you something that you use the most put it out here okay so not everything because you can literally put everything in there but i don't suggest you do that because like what is really the point so you just need to put like uber will be eats whatsoever now when you're done your bar looks like this if you want to multitask the next trick is you just need to drag something out let's just say i'm going to drag this out you can do a mini screen you can do a multi windows and you let it go and now you're running two windows at the same time this is a very good trick that a lot of people don't utilize this but this is if you take some time to do this it will work just imagine if you're actually watching something and suddenly there's a message like a whatsapp or even a text message did you know that you don't want to interfere with this right let's just say there is something here that you you want to see did you know you can hold it drag it and pull you can become a multi-screen or even a mini window too so it will not interfere your whatever you're watching there at the same time you can see your message let's just say this is a message right there you can read a message just by pulling it down hold it pull it down and then that's it very simple and easy so let's just say I have a 15 minute video and you don't really want to watch this but I suggest you do now did you know that you can actually ask hey Google and then you can ask this okay you press this and then you can ask them summarize my video then they will actually summarize the whole video for you just like that so cool I here's a summary of the video the video provides okay Sorry, i can't summarize on this device yet that is pretty cool so the next trick is number 13 let's just say if you see any image like this you can hold this okay make sure you drag it out and now you can actually select just like this and let's just say i want to put right there maybe not not a video I just like this I can let it go and now the image will be right there pretty pretty cool huh so yeah this is number 13 let's just say I have a video like this 
And then now what you want to do is you want to press the AI button. Before on the One UI 6.1.1, there is no AI button on the video. Now they do. What do they do? Now let's press this button right there. And you can see it's actually analyzing. Once they finish analyzing, they can actually concentrate your voice and your noise. If you're, let's just say you have a lot of background noise in this video, you can actually make it very, very, very quiet and you put it into mute. So if you go this side, it's going to be mute. If you go the other side, it will increase the sound. So let's just say I want to mute the noise. You just go all the way down there and now you save copy. And now it will generate a new video without any background noise. That's a very, very cool features. There's one important feature I would like to remind you guys. Every time when you delete something, let's just say, you're gonna press delete. Remember, they are putting into trash. And you have 30 days to actually recover the picture. Let's just say if you accidentally delete a picture, now you can actually press the this button right there and then go to trash and now you can see your picture is still there and you have 30 days to actually either empty it or you can actually delete right away i would suggest you always delete right away it's better for you because sometimes if you run out of space you don't want to do it that way so when you press delete all and now is fully deleted it's completely deleted and now you will have more space more storage on your phone so i'm going to give you another hidden tricks you have videos and you have pictures right some people always you know losing a lot of storage inside their phone because they have a lot of videos and they have a lot of pictures did you know that usually video is the one that causing you a lot of space okay usually videos not pictures videos is actually the one that causing you a lot of space how do we deal with this without purchasing a google photos to back up your phone did you know you can actually use youtube as in your backup storage uh, cloud because youtube doesn't require you how many videos you have to upload if you upload let's just say 1000 videos 2000 videos 3,000 videos, they will allow you to do that. So maybe you should use your cloud, okay, YouTube as in the cloud, and try to back up all your videos at the inside there, and then you can private it. Now, that way, you don't have to purchase uh, Google Photos, purchase at iCloud to back up your videos. You can just literally just put your video inside the YouTube, and then just private it, and that's your cloud. The next trick is I would like to show you is a lot of people will talk about how to you share photos, videos into your uh, iPhone or Samsung by just going here and then press share and quick share and now you can quick share with the links, okay, QR code or you can share with your other Samsung device. Pretty simple, right? But did you know that you can actually share files as well or even folders? So let's just say we're gonna to go to my files and then we're gonna go internal storage. And now you can see these are the folders. And let's just say I want to share the whole entire folder into my other phone. Did you know that you can actually do the same thing? Press share and then quick share. You can see you can actually share this into my other phone with the entire folders. And if you actually want to um, let's just say you want to copy a link you can do the same thing too let's just say this is super useful you want to share with your husband or your kids right beside you you can press this quick share and now you can share this link to your other phone and then when they share finish sharing the YouTube will pop up just like that on their phone as well too. Make sure you quick share not only photos but you can share a lot of different things as well too next trick this is super important is on your samsung account in the setting okay let's just go to the setting you will see this now you're going to go in here and now you're going to go all the way down to device and inside the device make sure that you are checking what it, what device is signing in with this samsung account okay make sure you see this 
Okay, make sure you see this and make sure that everything is signed in with this Samsung account. So it's easier for you to do your thing, that just say transferring and things like that. You don't have to do a lot of like accepting, rejecting, things like that. You don't have to do that because they know that it's the same phone, same person. They Samsung already trust that. So they are not going to give you a lot of like, oh, you have to accept this to accept any transferring. At the same time here, if you are using <sighs> at the same time did you know that if you do copy and paste let's just say i want to copy a certain word now let's just say i press copy on your other phone you already see this text on your other phone on the clipboard now you can actually paste that word even though i didn't do the copying on that phone you copy on this phone but your other phone already see the word and you can paste it right away because you are guys you guys are using the same samsung account i'm going to show you something pretty cool let's just say you're going to into wi-fi and then we're going to go to details and then now this is your wi-fi and then right here you go to three dot and then go to international wi-fi intelligent wi-fi when you press that make sure that you need to see if your wi-fi is good to go okay make sure you press that you see the lab is on now you go to the lab at the bottom okay what type of bed you're using what type of wi-fi you're using is it jumping back and forth okay you have to check that and is it unsecure? You have to check this part. If you if your Wi-Fi is jumping back and forth, it's not Wi-Fi six. Most of the time, it's Wi-Fi five, and sometimes here, sometimes there, or sometimes like this is like uh, the bank is like two point four, sometimes it's like five. You have to contact your carrier to see what's going on. Because if your Wi-Fi is keep jumping, you know, a different band and different like. Uh, Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi, that means it's not stable and then they have to fix it, your Wi-Fi for you. This is super important. It will affect the way that you use your data and sometimes it's not worth paying that much if it keeps jumping back and forth. And you may not even using Wi-Fi 6, you may only using Wi-Fi 5. So this is the 20 tricks that you need to know on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Please subscribe my channel and I really really thank you very much for everyone subscribing this channel. Very appreciate and I will give you more information or even updates on your Samsung Galaxy phone. Please stay tuned and have a nice day. Bye bye. Peace out.